But then the question is, why? Why are they valuable? You know, you can't eat them. You can't, if you throw them at somebody, I guess it's a weapon, but it doesn't really hurt somebody too much. But why have these things been so appreciated? Why have kings and queens used them as a source of either wealth or status? I mean, why today do we still think of them as a form of status and wealth? And what is it about these stones that it's almost like if we didn't have them as a civilization or society, we'd have to invent something like them because we need something like that. And I think that becomes the greater sort of story about gems that we sometimes lose a little bit. You know, we tend to commoditize them. We tend to get jaded by the fact that everything has a price on it and how much can we make by selling it. And for me, the the great joy of being a curator, I always said the best part of the job is I didn't have to sell anything. You know, I didn't have to put a price tag on it. I didn't have to convince somebody to buy something. I could just simply hold it in my hand and say, isn't this one of the most incredible things you've ever seen for all kinds of reasons. 